Hey guys, welcome to our Sometimes Tuesday Paint a Palooza. It's been a few weeks has been since few we weeks. have gone live and done anything like this because we have Fourth of July and we've been alternating. So, like one Tuesday we do Paint a Palooza, next week we'll do a shop tour and go back and forth. But then we have Fourth of July on a Tuesday, so it was kind of crazy. But if you guys are on Facebook, when you get this notification, would you click that share button, share this video out so people know that we're live? I'm going to go ahead and share it to the group. Zeb's going to get you started on what we're doing. If you need paint products or any of the items that we are painting, visit jamierayvintage.com. All of the items are on there. All right. So this is thrift flipping at its finest. We do this full time for a living. A lot of you know that. Some of you are newer and don't know that. Um, we've been doing it for eight years now uh, between furniture and home decor and all this stuff. And this is last week's haul from Saturday, and we're going to be gone this weekend. So we're going to try to knock that out and paint it up and get it done. Uh, and I am going to start with this, I think they're candlesticks. I'm Odelia's, not sure. Odelia's already on it. She posted it in our, so we have on Instagram. Hopefully I get it right. Uh, it's called a uh, channel. Oh, and we yeah. have like a channel you can join. I put it in stories today and then we can put notifications on there. And she put this live on there. I'm putting it in Jamie Ray Vintage group. Yeah, it's it's cool new uh, social media stuff from uh, Meta. We're trying to figure it all out. And I'm about to post it in threads. Threads Fastest is through Instagram. growing social media platform to date. Well, channel is on Instagram, but threads is new. That is for show. Okay, let me see. Watch us. All right, so Jamie promised that I was going to texture these all up and make them look super antique and old and maybe like stone. First, I got to get the dust out of the bottom of this. That's know. always involved, something that's involved with your thrift flips. Even if you don't paint them, if you find something that's awesome, typically it needs clean pretty all right. good. I think I've shared it all the place. Hey, Tyrell Ray, yo, yo, yo. Are you recovered from the roof, Ty? He said he had a heart. He went to work. <laughs> that's next level all right i'm gonna start painting these so i gotta do those lamps so i'm gonna work on my texture finish this i just sanded and i will get to putting on some food safe oil to condition it and then i'm gonna walk away and leave it it was just a tiny little had like a w with a wreath around it that was stenciled on there and i sanded that off it came right off and now i've got this gorgeous that looks so much better board so much better. Oh, it's called broadcasting. Yeah, it's a broadcast channel. There you go. It's but it's on Instagram. It's so weird. And but then there's also threads. Threads is brand new and so confusing. It's like I'm, Twitter. I'm getting for Facebook. old enough that I can just be like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna call it what I want and it'll be okay. It's like <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg and what's the guy that owns Twitter? Twitter? What's his name? Oh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk like have a battle royale going right now because mark has decided to start threads so we'll see if it grows big like twitter julie says we find the best stuff when we're thrifting i love it somebody's like good luck making that high-end home decor I'm like challenge accepted challenge accepted all right so this is gold already on here i'm thinking that i want to go somewhere in the neutral tone so i'm going to Go. This right here is white linen mixed with a little bit of crockery. So it's like a cream color. Let's start with that. Can you give me a brush, sweetie? Yeah. Well, the brushes are over there. I thought I had all the paint I wanted Brush. out, but I did not. You did not? I did not. Odelia's on here. Odelia is uh, not working today. Eliza is working. We have two full time employees out. Zeb and I were shipping last night with Eliza till. Almost nine, and then Odelia and Cooper were in working before us. So I shipped a few packages, and I haven't done it in like a year and a half. I was a little rusty. I told I had to get a lot of help from my 14 year old daughter, Eliza, uh, in shipping. And Eliza <laughs> usually doesn't ship by herself. Luckily, I will say she's this. a quick learner. Yeah, Eliza's she's super sharp. Um, I will say this, though those packages are super packed. If something breaks, there was nothing that was going to stop it. <laughs> there was nothing that could have been done that wasn't done. Yeah, it's, it's, I actually have shipped probably 10 to one more than Zeb. So I'm a little bit oh, better yeah. at it, but things have still changed. When we used to like ship out of our room, I, the most I ever shipped was 200 orders 
in two days, in 48 hours. And that was insane. And I probably could have shipped more except for I was really disorganized. So it took me longer. But that's when we used to ship out of our guest bedroom. And we only shipped paint back in those days. But now, like, all of our paint brands have so much more product. It wouldn't fit in a, like, a spare bedroom if we tried. No, they've all grown and, and our business has grown. All right, so I have uh, cottage color crockery. It's got a built-in sealer. I'm going to add some salt wash additive. It's going to thicken up that paint, give it some really good texture. I only have about this much paint in the bottom, so I'm actually going to add some water because this is just going to be a base tone. Um, and then I'm going to add some other layers of paint on here. But I'm going to add some water so that I can stretch it out a little bit. I do have more crockery here, but I'd rather not open up a brand new can and add a bunch of salt wash. So we're we'll see if we can stretch this. It's it's quite a bit of paint. I just, this is a lot of surface area. A lot. Odelia says that Eliza is faster than her. Eliza is very like detailed task oriented and Odelia is more of like a creative but Odelia can get detail oriented and Eliza, and Eliza can be creative. Don't let just, either one of those girls fool you. They're ready to rule the world. That is a true story. Eliza is just, she loves organizing things. So like shipping and doing things in a process is her jam. Maria, who works for us, who's currently gone, she used to be the postmaster for the town that she lived at. So she loves things like in a process way and her and Eliza are like besties when it comes to shipping and Kazaya. Kazaya used to work for the UPS store. So the three of them and Ivy. So Ivy's our shipping manager. She likes things super organized. So between all of them, they got a process And then down. Jamie and I come in and I'm like, good luck guys. Good luck finding anything. And, and uh, when we're done, this all works. I know Eliza's like, that's not how you do it. I'm like, I promise you it's okay. <laughs> I, I had to tell her, I'm like, listen, I'm the top of the food chain here. If this, this doesn't work out, it'll be okay. You're not going to get in trouble for shipping this package. It is hard to work with your kids. I'm like, listen, I don't pay you to talk to me like that. <laughs> Eliza's got a lot of sass. We'll say that. She, yeah, she's funny too. When she was gone for a few days at her friend Lily's house, <laughs> I was like, I kind of miss her sassy attitude. She's funny. I was like, don't tell her that. But I did. I did tell her. Uh, different time. We are. Uh, this is just, just random, random when we live. could fit it in today time because tomorrow we've got Waste Not Wednesday and a thousand things to do. I have it. I was going to start the cottage um, like demo, but we and might, then but... we decided we're like, let's go to this funeral this weekend. And so we're cramming six days of both of us, we both work like full time six days a week into um, four days. And we're Plus cramming shipping. that into four days. <laughs> Plus, we've got a couple people gone, so we're trying to make up uh, for that. And you know, and they deserve it. They deserve to go on a break. We keep saying it like it's a bad thing. No, but. because when we leave, they got to deal with everything when yeah. we're gone. So it's 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 par for the course. All right, base coat on this one. It's definitely going to need two coats. I don't know where I'm going with it, but I had to get started. So this is a really good color. All right, um, blessed beyond said Zeb. Hold on, it's going to make him blush. Hold what? on. What? What? Zeb is so stinking handsome. Oh, it's well. true. I he did is. nothing to do that. That You can blame my mom and maybe a little bit my dad. Mostly your mom. And you look like your grandpa Baird. The grandpa that we're going to his funeral, Zeb looks a lot like him. All right. Although your chin, I feel like you get from your dad. Yeah, I, I do have some ring. characteristics that my dad has. And Zeb does look cute in a cowboy hat. I agree. Oh, she says I'm beautiful too. Well, I sure think so. Oh, it's why we have it's why we have good looking kids. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when I was looking for a mate, I'm like, let's see. Actually, I wasn't looking for a mate. Zeb and I dated in high school. I wasn't thinking about marriage. But once I did start thinking about marriage, I was like, our kids are gonna be cute. And actually, we, we don't have an ugly kid. <laughs> I don't think any parent is like, yeah, that, that one did not turn out. That one did not bake long enough. How do they not know? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do have to say, Redrick did look like an old man when he was born. But it's it, turned out he's so stinking handsome. He has these long eyelashes and big brown eyes. 
It's and it, he he tries to be like kind of grumpy cat, but then sometimes when he's grumpy, his dimple pops out. I'm like, you're trying to be grumpy, but yet you're being cute. Odelia said, mm hmm. Odelia said, mm hmm. You know it. I'm quite cute. <laughs> <laughs> Odelia is a really good mix of Zeb and I. And Odelia so has Harrington. always been cute, though. She a lot of that's personality, but like she won all kinds of awards on her cheer team for like just all all sorts of like personality stuff. Yeah, it goes along. She's cute and nice. All right, this is where I'm going to regret. Redrick looks a lot like it. Zeb and. Um, Jack is like my doppelganger, and then Odelia and um, Harrington are a good mix. People always think that they look more like Zeb than me, but that's just because of their coloring, because they're blonde hair, blue eyes. But my, my family my Scandinavian has, genes are strong. My dad had blonde <laughs> hair and blue eyes. I have a sister with blonde hair and blue eyes. My dad's like my dad's sisters were all blonde hair and blue eyed. I just have darker coloring, and Jack is the only one who looks like me and has my coloring. He did not look like Zeb. And when he was born, Zeb's like, are you sure he's mine? I didn't say that. <laughs> you said that. Okay, that was me. You made the joke. It was funny. Because all of my kids were very albino, and Jack definitely looked, he was dark. <laughs> but if you put a brown bob on Jack, he looks exactly like me at that age. These are items Zeb is painting look like brass. They are not brass. They're resin. So it's resin. Yeah, and this it's, is resin, it's plastic. Too. So, I mean, we say resin like it's fancy, but it's plastic. <laughs> it is fancy plastic. It's like thicker. Uh, the composition up. is thicker, though. Alley Cat says Jack looks just like Jamie. He does. Somebody the other day is like, I didn't realize how much Jack looked like Jamie. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. And a lot of people don't realize it, but Eliza looks just like me. She yeah. just has different coloring. She looks more like me She's than Odelia. blonde hair, blue eyes, and Jamie's got... Brown I had hair, blonde hair, but eyes. I paid for it. It was not natural. <laughs> I told Zeb when I started going gray, because I don't color my hair right now. That She's I'm... like, are you going to care if I go back blonde? I'm like, I met you as a blonde. Of course I'm not going to care. <laughs> so that's the plan. So when you see me start getting blonde highlights, and you know the grays have really started coming in. I have a few, but not many. Um, okay, if you're just tuning in and you're like, why are they talking about hair and their kids? Um, we are actually just here painting thrifted finds that we are selling for a profit. Um, and we sell them on our website and in our retail store. We've got a bunch of new followers because we do reels and shorts. And people comment like, what are you doing with all that junk? I'm like, I promise we're not hoarders. I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's, it's business inventory. Yep. We got a whole huge shop that needs filled up. Which one is the youngest? Jack. Jack. So my oldest son, a lot of people, if you're new, probably haven't seen him because he, he was doesn't... on the channel a lot, like up until he went to college. Yeah. He's going to be 21 this summer. His name is Harrington and he does not love social media. So I very rarely get a picture of him, even though he is around. Um, and he's not around that often because he's off having his best single young handsome dude life he's but almost he's almost 21 and you know yeah he's no gonna, one's telling him no right now nobody tells baby <laughs> no but uh yeah he's my oldest jack is my youngest odelia is my oldest daughter o eliza is the middle child but she's probably the most spoiled and redrick i think redrick is the true middle child because he's the middle boy because the girls odelia is the oldest eliza is the youngest but Jack, Redrick is neither the oldest nor the youngest. He is the middle boy. They're all spoiled. That is a true Every story. last one of them. They're so cute. I can't help but spoiling them. Alley Cat says he was on a lot while we were building the house. Yeah. He, um, he helped out a ton. Zeb cried when he went to college, <laughs> not just because he was going to miss him, because he was like, that's my buddy who's helping me. And I was like, what am I? I'm just not as strong. Let's just say you cannot lift nearly what that kid no. can lift. But I am. I can bring you drinks, and I will try to lift as much as I can. Also valuable, because if I don't get drinks, I pass out. I am stronger than I look. A lot of people are surprised, but I am pretty strong because I have done a lot of work that mostly is like, man, like I installed 2,600 square feet of hardwood flooring pretty much by myself. I had some serious guns then. 
I don't know that I ever want to do it again, but I did it once. All right. So this isn't as bad as I thought it was. And I think because I've got the salt wash in there, I'll be able to just do like a little touch up on the inside and it'll be okay. So I think I'm going to paint these in crockery, uh, the crockery white swan mix, and then use dark wax on them. These are my little boy and girl praying. Oh, bless Beyonce. said the first time she watches, my dad was painting with us. Was it when he thought he looked like Roy Orbison? That was the funniest <laughs> live video. He's started flipping his hair. We miss his humor around here, but we have little memories of him everywhere because he used to like to write like measurements on walls. And we have lots of walls that are just shiplap that we never painted the shiplap. So that's got his dimensions on it. My mom is going on a cruise. That's exciting. That is exciting. She's leaving. When we get back from Arizona, her and Odelia are going to be headed out to um, Mississippi She wants and to do a Mississippi Tennessee. River cruise. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. They're going to go on a cruise, just the two of them. Odelia's never traveled like that before, so I hope they, they survive and don't get lost and they know how to Uber. Zeb's parents only live like a few hours. hours from where they're going to be, and we have friends in Tennessee, so I'm like, well, I guess worst case scenario, I can call the Calvary. All right. That one I'm going to put over here to let it dry out of the way. Caitlin got the message. How many are people watching at this random time? 363. All right. I need you guys to share that out. I'm going to paint these toppers because they're easy. So I actually don't have like a definite direction on where to go. Would that? Well, I've got this nice base color in the crockery. I could just dark wax it and be done. But, but I want to do something fun on there. So you guys think I should do a wash? Do you want to see like a white or something like a blue green or just maybe like a navy? We do have some boho blue here. Um. What would you guys like to see on these? I don't have these sold. Are they sold? Are these not sold yet? They're not sold. Lynn says we need to remember to ask people to like our videos. We yeah. should ask people. I forget though. And I don't know for a while, if you like asked people to do stuff, it hurt the algorithm. I don't know that it does anymore. But yeah, if you're watching a video you, and you watch it long enough to, to comment, you got to also like it. Give it a little thumbs up. -y. It lets the Instagram, Facebook, YouTube algorithm know that, hey, this is cool. Maybe we should show it to more people. And that's how we grow. Oddly enough, my YouTube channel has like the last three videos have blown up. And I have, I mean, I feel like I'm doing a little better editing, but I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really pinpoint. Week over week, it's about the same as it was last week. Yeah. So I don't really know why it's doing better, but I will, I will take the extra views because we used to, we were actually getting to the point where we were rarely getting over 10,000 views a video. And then I started editing our videos and it slowly ducked up. Well, and sometimes you got to switch that up. You know, you get like seven seasons on a show and by the end you're like, what crazy thing are they going to do next to try to keep us watching? We've been doing YouTube for eight years now. The crazy thing is Zeb stopped editing and I started editing when I had no idea what it I was doing. It is like a whole fresh new look. <laughs> is it though? Jamie's perspective. She's shorter. So you I get closer to things. I didn't think you were going to paint the lamps. Um, yeah, oh, you had, I wasn't going to. You had said you weren't going to, but you had me they go didn't. get them. So now they're done. They didn't sell. I said I'd paint them if they didn't sell. I was going to wait longer. Um yeah, so if you could be my brain and help me remember when I'm not going to do stuff, that'd be great. Me? No. I can't anymore, remember? Oh, my goodness. My brain's shoot. been going. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I got I to gotta change the description. That's what I'm doing right now. We'll be painted. <laughs> because somebody's going to be like, order them with my luck and be like, I didn't want to paint it. Okay, there we go. 
Teresa says she loves watching us live. She has us on YouTube and Facebook. Awesome. Thank you. We're getting blurry and then it goes clear. Let me make sure I'm on. Is every did like did you tell everybody to not be on? Yeah. Well, I don't know what the kids are. Kids Odelia, are if home. you're still watching, can you go peruse the house and just make sure nobody's on the internet? Because right now we're streaming to YouTube and Facebook. There's a high chance a boy's on a switch or something because they're like, oh, the switch doesn't use internet. I'm like, no, if it's on, it's using internet. No, not always. You have to put it in airplane Check mode. on Grandma and Jack. They were watching TV earlier. Jack was streaming YouTube, showing her like video gaming channels. I'm sure my mom was really amused. She was trying not to fall asleep last <laughs> time I looked at her. <laughs> this is not our normal live time. We're only going to be live for about an hour or so because we've got dinner and football practice to get to. And Buttercup. And Buttercup to get to. All right. I'm going to paint... This next, you know what? I don't know that I can put a transfer on here because I'm not sure I have the one I want. Oh, everybody says it's good there. So it's also sometimes possible internet on your end. Um, if it goes wonky, it'll change the way it looks. You know, um, what? No, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, are you wanting the seeds transfer on that? Yeah, I don't think we have that here. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Unless you took it over to the shop. I, just, I no. brought a new one just oh, a little bit a ago. One? When? Today? No, it's been a week. Oh. I'm so spoiled by spraying. I'm like, oh, this is taking so long. The spraying is pretty great, especially once you get the hang of it. It's so easy. But my guns didn't get cleaned really well last week, so I'm interested to see They're what fine. I'll just they spray like this week. The nice thing, too, is it's so hot outside that I almost want to die, but my stuff dries really fast so you do one coat and then you can like spray the second coat like basically immediately but not everybody has a spray gun so you can do thrift flipping with just a brush i suggest having something else to do while you're thrift flipping like put base coats on stuff go rotate the laundry go make your bed go make your husband a sandwich start dinner ah oh, we were both thinking about food well we didn't really eat lunch we had we had did breakfast. we not eat lunch Oh, we had brunch. Yeah. I had an ice cream sandwich and you had a banana. Yeah, the bananas don't really stick with me, though. They, they kind of just... That's why I had an ice cream sandwich, because an ice cream sandwich does stick with me. It usually sticks on my thighs, but on the lips for a minute, on the hips forever. All right, what I'm going to do with this is I'll probably have to wind up putting two coats on there, and then I'm going to put a transfer on the side. But I want to paint the lid a different color. Please move lamp. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Do you need me to go find that transfer for you? Or, oh, you're going to be a minute. Yeah, I got to put two coats of paint on there. And then I got to put the transfer and I also got to paint the lid. I do have a few things that I finished earlier on our channel member live that I can work on too. So we will get some projects finished, not just base coated here. I need to prime these though. I want to paint these pink. What do you guys think? You think these would be cute pink? I think they will be. We don't have a lot of pink in the shop right now. Either pink or French military. Those are big enough. They could almost be like little pedestals. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. For display or whatever. Jack, can you go let Cody in? He's he's so sad he's outside right now. It's because it's he can hear us in here. Oh, uh, he's not hot. They go over and lay in the shade on the grass. They're Cool as cucumbers. Yeah, they're automatic there. water. So I'm just putting primer on this because it's so shiny. This metal container, Zeb already primed it. This is a clear primer. We're out of the white right now. We have more showing up tomorrow. The clear, you got to be careful because right, it does. You got promise to be quiet though. It can. I'm putting you back out there. It's what they call drip. Yeah. Lindsay says, I need to become a member. If you are a channel member, you get two printables a month that you can print up to 100 copies of and two extra live videos. We take off one week, a quarter, and then on those months, you only get one extra live video. Although sometimes you forget to take it off. That's been known to happen because it's every other week. It's prime on prime day can you show the bench lisa the bench is at the shop but i took a picture of it for the website so 
Yeah. Eliza I can show gets you the picture. It up there. I think maybe it's already up. Is it already up? I don't know. Let me put the website address on here and then I'll put a link to the bench. All right. So these have taken a hot minute. Has anyone mentioned, I haven't been watching comments. Has anyone said what color they want to go over the top of this? Any um, I was not paying attention when oh, you, have to scroll you back. asked the question. I'll scroll Nobody back told me there was going to be a uh, I always do a multiple Q &A. choice question. All right. I'm going to, if you guys want to see the bench that we worked on in channel membership, I'm linking it right now. It Click on the good. link. Um, they said navy and gold. We don't have navy. Um, but I, yeah, I told them we do have some blues. We got a boho blue. I'll add some black to it. Oh, blue. They want to see blue. Blue? Blue, like blue, a, blue. Like a true blue, not a green blue? No, yeah, probably like a true blue. Like boho blue would probably be all right. I don't think we have any blue iris. All right. Those are going to dry. There's like still chippy milk paint on here from that bench I was working on. We had these benches we did for Waste Not Wednesday a while ago. I'm going to move this before it gets paint on it. And the paint all chipped off. So now we're slowly. We heat gun them on the live stream and the paint just whoop. Yeah, you should not heat gun milk paint unless you want it to chip. Primer is good. It's a navy, please. Boho blues, darker blue. You know, you could take boho blue and add some black. Yep, I have black out here, so I might add a little black to it and make it real moody. It's moody. already pretty moody. Moody booty. All right, well, I'm going to be super predictable and bust out the cottage color Americana for this lid. So the cottage colors, if you guys are new here, all have built-in sealers. The DIY paint needs a sealer. And we carry it all on the website. Jamie says paint yours pink. Okay, those two are going to go pink. I got to let that primer dry. I'm going to paint the lid on this Americana. I'm just going to wash my brush. Actually, do we have another brush over here? Oh, we do. What were we doing on this? I don't know. You want me to paint Americana? Yeah, that would be good on it. And then distress that and pattern then put a transfer. It, it's, it's got textures. So I don't know if a transfer would be the best. I can put a transfer on. We can on. do it. We'll see. I'll paint it Americana first, and then we'll go from there. Do you need me to go find the seeds catalog transfer? If you that? happen to know where it's at. Yeah, I think it's just over here. <clears throat> okay. This one is cool because it has a weight in the bottom, so it won't fall over when you put flowers in it. This is a lot less shiny than the lid, and I'm getting much better coverage on it. Well, maybe. Told you I didn't think it was over there. I know I brought you one. What size for a dresser? What size of paint? If it's a small dresser, you could get away with a pint. And if it's a big dresser, you're going to need two pints or a quart. Look what I found. The Aussie picker says, I can tell my wife's, oh, thank you. My wife's mood depending on her color of choice on her thrift jobs for the day. There you go. So if she's painting black, you got to like watch out. <laughs> or like bright red. is red. Red's like a, a fiery color. She's feeling feisty. All right, found them. I'm gonna I am set so these back spoiled here. with spraying. I'm like, oh, this would be so much easier with a spray gun. Well, and the cottage colors lay so flat when you brush them, it's like you're not even getting texture with the brush. So you might as well have sprayed it. That is true. All right, I'm gonna put this where it's gonna go sit and dry, and then I'll paint the handle all my the way. one is almost dry i'm going do you want me to put that outside i'm going to get some boho blue here you can put whatever you want outside mm -hmm. i'm running out of room okay all right uh oh we got to fix the camera screens up oh I'm i would coming. do it but you don't like it when i touch it yeah there's several buttons up there that look the same so it doesn't like it when i touch the buttons there we go all right i'm gonna second coat this and then we'll move on to the next one 
The bench is so cute. Oh, she must have checked out the link. Nancy says late again. Don't worry, Nancy. Gonna be on for a while. So this color I'm using right now is white linen mixed with about a tablespoon of crockery. It makes the best creamy ivory color. All right, so bad news. What? I what? think our boho blue got used up. We have no boho blue. What do we got? I'm looking. I think I can mix some stuff though. After I do this layer, I think I'm going to put this outside to really dry. Then I can do the next step, which I don't know what I'm going to do over the top of this. Maybe distress it, maybe put some gold on here. All right. I think I can fix this. I think I can make this work. But I'm going to need to mix some color. A lot of it because these are big. Yeah, if you don't mix enough, you won't be able to recreate it. Anybody ever had that happen? You like make a custom color and you run out? I can usually get close. You are a good mixologist. But it's never exact. Like I'm not a I'm not a machine over here. Are you not? No. No, I am not. All right. So what we have. I've got some old 57. Janice has just popped me dress. some popcorn for this entertainment. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. I got to be entertaining. <laughs> Seb and I are, we make each other laugh all the time. I just don't know if anybody else thinks yeah, we're funny. Yeah, you know, we, I don't want to say that they're inside jokes. We just are very familiar with everything we've had going on forever now, uh, seems like. And so we have like lots of jokes that we don't even have to really have verbal communication to find <laughs> things funny. Well, we okay. are together 24 hours a day pretty much. And it's funny because you'd think we'd get tired of each other, but when we don't spend, like Zeb was working on the roof and his brother wanted to go out to dinner. And I was like, sorry, <laughs> I'm not really ready to share them. I've been sharing them for two days. <laughs> it's not that I don't like you. It's that I don't like sharing. Okay, so I've got the line is like right here at the bottom of my finger, like that much little black dress on the bottom of a solo cup. That's a very precise measure. Actually, these are Chinette by Kirkland. Chinette. Now, I've got some old Costco. 57. That's a lot of little black dresses. It's, it's super powerful and super pigmented. So just know that going in, it's probably going to be too much. But you're going to try it anyways. So I did probably double that half inch or whatever we had with old 57. And it's going to be beautiful and, and streaky when we get going here. So I'm going to show you. It's going to be like a paint pour. Look at that. Look at that. See the swirls? It's getting swirly in here, people. Okay. Oh, I'm getting like a gray color. Did it not happen the way you thought that it would? Well, that's fun. It's going I was outside. assuming it would go a little more blue-green. Yeah, that's navy. We're getting real close. It's gravy. It's gray navy. <laughs> it's gravy. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. That shouldn't be funny, but it's hilarious. <laughs> See, we're both laughing. I don't know if anybody else is laughing, but yeah, we think we're said. funny. <laughs> Oh, this is actually a really great color. And I feel like we are actually, we need a little more blue in there, but we're close to boho blue. We're going to get the moodiness. <laughs> that's moody. That's for sure. It's going to be good. Depending on the lighting, it can be any color you want it to be. That's right. Morning light, you know, nice and bright. Afternoon light, get those orange tones going. Um... Is there a reason DIY puts their paint plastic containers? Mine always rust and get in my paint. Um, I, I don't know if, if it's plastic. What would they put it in that it wouldn't so it like the metal? metal. Oh, it just so it sh like survives better. Because I've had paint in like all plastic. And the bigger the paint quantity, the more susceptible it is to like crack and stuff and shipment or crack if it falls down. I think it's just, I'm assuming that's why. If you do have a problem with that, I saw somebody put a piece of plastic wrap 
over their paint to keep their lid from sticking. But I also think that if you did that and then put the lid on, it would keep the lid from rusting. It was Cindy Daychuk. She was saying when she has paint that has like a built-in sealer, she puts a piece of plastic wrap and then the lid, which clearly if you saw my lids, you would know I do not do that, but I should. I might start now if I can remember. All right, I don't know how heavily I'm gonna go with this color on here. Cause this is at this point, what happens is, oh, you know what I could do is I could get this dry and then come back with the old 57 over it. That would be nice and bright. The Aussie picker wants to know when we're going to get paints in Australia. You know what? That is a good question. We do ship to Australia, but it is like so expensive. I think the brands would have to get a lot bigger to have a distributor or manufacturer down under. I know they are available like in Canada, but yeah. That is one of the things about small business. We don't have the fundage for big ventures, but you know, you just keep growing and maybe someday it will. Are you guys you seeing this? I don't know. I don't think they can see it because, oh yeah, they can. I got a drip though. Gotta fix it. Get that drip. Yeah, I think they can. It's like a gray blue. It's more gray than blue. Told you that little black dress is strong. It looks good though. Well, we got moody. I did want it to be more blue, but maybe we can work on that with some more um, old 57. You said you missed a spot. High chance. We'll get it eventually. Coming around the coming around the horn here. I always start off painting all neat, and by the time I get to like multiple coats, it's just a hot mess express. Maybe it was me. I missed a spot right here. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I don't know if they can I'm see like, that. I can't see. Black is overpowering when mixing. Yeah, I usually put in just like a little yeah, teeny dab. I knew, I knew I was putting in a lot when I dumped it in. I'm like, oh, but I needed a lot of paint. So I might, you know what else I have? What else do you have? I'm out of old 57. Well, it's, there's a little in there, but. No, I don't think that's going to work. That's going outside. Zeb missed a spot on the one you're working on now. Oh, well, he'll find it. Oh, maybe it's a spot of the creamy color. I'm off camera, but I'm still talking. I'm coming back. Oh, I promise. yeah. They could, I could have missed some with the. Yeah, it's on the, the top. Uh, the tippy top. Oh, up here. Yeah, we'll cover that up. This the lid has been off of this for a minute. This is how this is what you got to do on paint a palooza days. The days you got to paint all day, you just keep rotating through your projects. Those little babies need to dry. This needs to go outside. All right, so I this is blue iris. Dry. I'm gonna just add this to my mix here. We've already got some some of the gray mixture on there, but this isn't enough that I think it's gonna completely change it or ruin it this is older it's a little chunky i wonder if the neighbors that don't know what we do for a living are like why are they always filming and putting junk on their front porch to dry i'll All get right, back to is, comments in a minute this is a lighter gray now <laughs> So I swear that we had petticoat pink in here, but now. Did you use it all up? No. I mean, how often do I use it? I have French millinery. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that didn't really change it enough. I started out with too much black. You were right. No, it's bluer. 
For sure. That's like way bluer. Okay. It's like a really smoky navy. I like it. Do you guys think I should mix like some gold or uh, copper onto here? Copper could be cool on some of these accents. <laughs> Crafting with Indiana Jones says she'd be thrilled to be our neighbor. Talk to our neighbors before you make those kind of statements. <laughs> 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 no, we're, we're, I feel like we're decent neighbors. We try to be good. I keep the grass mostly mowed. Yeah, and I learned how to use the riding lawnmower, so I mow the lawn at the shop while it's at weed wax. It's actually super you for, Oh, you forgot to paint the entire top. Oh. Oh, my. That's more than a spot. That's like a, a lot of something there. Fix my space here. 72 degrees in Washington. I want to go to Washington. It's like pushing 100 here, isn't it? Yeah. How many employees do we have? We have so right four. now we have four. If you don't six, include you my daughters. Include the girls. During COVID, we had eight because everything was shipped. And we had employees that didn't work full time. So yeah. now we have employees that work more. Okay, so it's 94 degrees here. We're going to get to 100 on 70 and 101 on Monday. Ugh. That's no boy, no. I don't like hot weather. There's but the always... nice thing is it does cool down at night. Unlike the heat in the like Arizona and Phoenix, it doesn't even cool down at night. Yeah, we got about a 30 degree temperature swing between night and day. That, that's true in the winter, too. <laughs> that is true. So I'm painting petticoat pink. This is DIY paint, so it's going to need a top coat. Just a spot. And it's gonna need a couple, this is really a shiny candlestick. We did prime it first, so the paint should stick pretty well on it. We just used the clear salvation solution primer. This is definitely a blue tone. This is like a blue gray color. Some grays can lean like more black. This is going to look really blue depending on oh, what light you see. Oh, you can put this in. upside down. And then you put a candle on it. That's what that that's why that's shaped like that. It's like a oh, nice. Holder. Oh, and it can even hold People kept saying it was a candle holder and I was like, "How?" So make sure you And you can even hold a uh, taper in there. Mm -hmm. Although that's kind of large situation for a taper, I think. All right. As soon as I'm done with this, do you need me to help paint the um, other one that you forgot? Yeah, you can. I got my mixture right here. It's thickening it up as we do speak. Do you have the brush? No, I'm using the brush. I washed it out. So you're going to have to make a new one. Let's see if there's any questions. They said copper would look good with that. I agree. I think copper on the details will be amazing. So we'll we'll visit that here in a moment. Jamie's going to paint everything else, and I'm going to work on these two things. It's fine. I might not get anything finished, but I'll get a thousand things started. Did you heat gun those, or did you put them but outside? Can we do like spaghetti with a meat sauce for dinner? Because I was like, I was jonesing for that last, last night. Last night, like. 11 o'clock, he's like, I really want spaghetti. I'm like, tough noogies. I didn't say I wanted you to make it. I know. Well, I feel like you were in like hinting. Like I could really go for some pasta right now. I was just right going to warn you, you were about to be watching TV oh, by you yourself. you did paint inside. Where's the brush you used on this? It's right here. All right, I'll use this brush. This one just had white linen on it, and I'm, I'm not using that color anymore. So, So did you stipple it or just... Tetric. Oh, yeah, I just brush it on. You know how I like to do with the salt wash. I'm a big fan of just brushing it, brushed texture. So they're talking about the war, the movie The Sound of Freedom. So fun fact, um, Tim Ballard is married to Crystal Zinn. Her main name is Zinn. And she grew up with me in California. We went to church in the same ward. I was, Our family were good, good friends.
and they live in Utah. I actually don't know where in Utah they live. I'm pretty sure they I moved. Think they keep that pretty. Yeah, uh, I think they keep that on the hush hush. All right, I'm gonna quiet. flip this like this outside and have this side dry, and then I'll paint the top. All right, so does it look blue on camera? Are you guys feeling the navy-esque or is it just gray? No, it, it is navy. No, it I really feel, is. I feel like it's like a dark, dark gray. I feel like your gravy joke was on point. It is navy. All right. Got to find the brush. I don't know why I'm using such a tiny little brush. Maybe because... It was so detailed. I'm going to paint these, and then I'm going to get a bigger brush out. Yeah, I saw that. you paint that. I'm like, you're going to have well, brush the, strokes. The lamps were had a lot of detail. They can sit, They said they can see the blue. Yeah, they can see the blue. I think you're the only one that can't see the blue. No, I can see it. I'm just, I'm just like real close to you know, like six feet. You, you have know, to back up to get the true picture. Six feet from an artist's work to really see the what they wanted you to see. I sometimes need people to back up like, I don't know, like 40 feet just to make it look good. Like, yeah, that paint job looks awesome. <laughs> so these little guys are going to get dark wax eventually. I'm not really painting them super different from what they were. They were just really dirty and dingy. I guess I'm going to make them look dirty again because I'm going to put dark wax on them back. Oh, you guys did a good job for sharing out. Thank you. We're up Thanks to 529 sharing. people watching. Woot, woot. Appreciate that. If you're just tuning in, we're this Paint of Palooza with Jamie Ray Vintage. And all the paint and products can be purchased at jamierayvintage.com. I'm really good at that. So I think what I'm going to do, since this is DIY paint, it is water soluble. Once this dries, I will do a uh, wet distress and then we'll hit it with some, I can't decide. I might do the copper first and then do a wax on it. I'm trying to put this out of the way here. Hey Jack, stop with the squealing. Would you tell him he doesn't listen to me? Yes. Well, if they went in the room, they're fine. Zeb's the more serious parent. I try to be serious, but I'm not very good at it. Here's the difference in our parenting styles. I'm when I say no, like, don't bother asking again because I'm not changing my mind. <laughs> I can be persuaded. I don't enjoy saying no. I always tell my kids, like, I don't like disciplining you. I don't like saying no, but like I'm required to because that's my job as a parent to occasionally say no and to, to you know, discipline when necessary and ground them and stuff. And I don't sometimes like you just can't let the nine year old make all the judgment calls. I mean, the judgment calls are questionable <laughs> at best occasionally. <laughs> But I think sometimes kids think that parents enjoy like coming down with law and I would rather not. I'd rather just have them follow the rules and just move on with my life. Zeb's a good parent. He is pretty good. We've been parents for a few years now, so we're kind of figuring it out. All right, that's getting serious. An old brother and little brother sound like they're mixing it up. You don't know what's going on. He took his mic off so you guys can't see, hear how good of a parent he is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use this crockery brush to do this, but I gotta go grab my other piece first. All right, I'm gonna be off camera for a minute, but I promise I'm gonna come back. I gotta grab Zeb's finial topper that I painted the bottom side of. Did you lay down some dad law? No, I just had to look at him with my eyes and they both knew. 
Well, they know when you rip off the microphone <laughs> on a live heard, on a live video. Redrick saw my head coming up the stairs. He's like, "Oh shoot, we're in trouble." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you take your microphone off for a live video, they know because we've been doing videos for a long time. <laughs> and then Odelia pokes her head out like, "Oh, I probably should have stopped that, huh?" <laughs> She's learned to ignore it. Like sometimes you don't realize the noise has gotten so bad until you're like, oh, that's like full throttle volume there. And then I had to hear the story about why the squealing was even happening in the first place. I didn't mean to, it was an accident. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a plastic toy knife up there. <laughs> And it actually hurts you in the ribs when you get jabbed with it. Yeah, well, maybe don't jab people. Who's jabbing who? Oh, who do you think? Redrick? Yeah. <laughs> the big brother was jabbing the little brother. Good gravy. All right. Do you want to put this back outside, or do you want to just let it air dry? Um, I don't know how much time you're going to need. I'm going to need that to be dry pretty quick, because i got to get this one painted, and then I'm going to – I probably need to run these outside. I'm going to run these outside real quick. Well, maybe you can run this outside while you're at it. It's hard to grab these and carry them. Without getting paint all over. They got a lot of angles. There is a fly in here. Tis the season to bust out the classy fly strips. We don't even have like livestock close by. I guess our neighbors do have chickens. Our chickens are at the shop. There are flies over there, but I got them under all right. control. Do you want me good. to put this on here and you can take it both out? Are they both, well, well the base the base is ready for my no the inside is wet. Oh well I'll heat gun that. All right, I'm gonna leave this over here. Yeah, I'll heat gun those. <clears throat> There's like seven by the back window. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the back window. And they're like slow moving. Like I'm able to kill them fairly easy. And usually the flies are more difficult. They're a little more nimble. Yeah, these these flies, they're whatever they're eating, it's slowing them down. All right. Lindsay says that's all you have to do is give them the look. That's because Dad has been serious before. I'm not like a pushover per se. I'm just the more easygoing parent. Unless you want to be out late. I feel like you care about less. I'm just, I'm my oldest child. Does that make sense? He wore me like, down and I learned that if I cared less, I didn't have to discipline as much. And it's funny because I'm way more of an easygoing parent now. And my older kids will try to parent like, well, you're not doing it. I'm like, no, I'm fine. I don't want to. I'm parenting as much as I want to, which is not a lot. I'm tired. Harrington wore me down. <laughs> Love all my shopping trips. Thank you. Or our shopping trips. I definitely do cannot take credit for all the shopping. Zeb is an enabler. He enables me to buy whatever. We love thrifting. And we have to, a lot of people think it's a excessive the amount that we thrift, but we really don't like we do have new products in our shop, right? But not that many. Most of them are found. And so it requires a lot of to have enough inventory, we have to shop a lot. Like if it gets much busier than it is now, it's going to be like full-time thrifting and someone else is going to have to paint all this stuff. Yeah. Well, we might divide up at Conquer. My sister was like, I can help buy for you. And I'm like, no way, man. Like I will hire out so many things before I hire out somebody to shop because I love, like it's my favorite thing. It's like treasure hunting. And just because I like something one time doesn't mean I'll buy it a second time. So it would be hard for somebody to know what I want because I don't always want the same things. And I don't want to be mean if somebody like shops for me and I'm like, well, I, I have enough of those, you know, so it's just easier to do it all myself. So I'm not really worrying about brush strokes or anything. I've got kind of texture on here from the uh, salt wash mix that I started with the crockery and salt wash. So I, I'm just kind of willy-nilly just slapping paint on here. And I decided to paint the inside on this one first. Last time I did it the other way, and it's easier if you paint this inside We're going to need to pressure wash that front 
square. <clears throat> I know. It's going to need more than a pressure wash. It's going to need a wire brush. It's going to need a Hail Mary. All right. I'm going to second coat this pitcher. And then second coat those. And then I have a shelf that I just need to seal. But I think I'm going to do that later because we've got a lot of paint out right now. I feel like I should mention the whole uh, little brother, big brother situation going on upstairs. The little brother was trying to push past and destroy the big brother's Lego creation. Oh, yeah. I wasn't completely unprovoked. <laughs> Jack is not an innocent angel in, in these things. But Redrick occasionally just takes it a little bit too big brother far. And he is quite larger than Jack. Like Jack probably weighs 70 pounds and Redrick weighs like 120, maybe 125. And he's about to weigh a lot more because he's eating a ton, which means he's about to grow. And he's already basically as tall as I am. So he's about 5'5". Five, five. And he's 11. He was our biggest kid. He was. He was our, a biggest, big, our biggest baby. He was a big baby. I know. I remember that well. <laughs> I you, you were there for that, were you? I was totally there for that. <laughs> when the doctor's like, oh, he's not going to be that big. It's just because it's your fourth child. So it's your You're showing you're, a little more because it's your fourth. Showing a little fourth. more. And I'm like, no, I, I promise you. Um, you're like, this kid's pushing on all my insides. I can't walk <laughs> and I'm going to need you to induce me. He's ready to come out. <laughs> live over there and dry and I'll touch up small spots. Jack really enjoys poking the bear. That is true. And Red Redrick is easily provoked. Yeah. <laughs> He's at that age right now where he, depending on what time of the day it is, you don't know what you're going to get. His patience barometer is not doesn't do well. All right, this goes to that canister that I painted in the cream color, the mixture of white swan and crockery. So whatever transfer I put on it, it's going to have to play well with Americana. Lindsay says, I was the last and the heaviest nine pounds. Nine pounds, and I'm only, I'm five foot five. And I'm not huge. So having nine pound babies, I, and I have long legs and a short waist. So I don't I just, think we said, Redrick was nine pounds. Yeah. I didn't have anywhere for him to go. Like there was all full steam ahead. I gotta, it's always really hard to move them without like messing up your There are jump. so many like That's why I said surfaces should, on this. That's why I said you should spray those. How old are they? Redrick, or they're 11 and they're so they're about to 12 be 12 and 9. And nine. Their birthdays are the birthdays July are like a week 21st apart. and 29th. So we're about to have, I need to, that reminds me tomorrow we have to make invitations for Jack's um, birthday party. Oh, just, just add it to the list. Yeah. We probably actually should do that um, tonight because he has football practice in the morning. So... I'm gonna move these out of the way. These are actually things I painted in this morning's channel member live, and I'm worried they're gonna get paint on them. This needs to be wet distressed. So does this. I'm gonna fight the urge to cover this with like a whitewash or a white uh, wax, because that's usually the way we go, and I wanna kinda of leave them dark and moody with the copper. I think you should do a whitewash. No. Then you're going to need to do a lot of distressing to bring out that base yes, coat. Yes, I am going to bring the base coat out. All right. I'm going to, speaking of distressing, I'm going to wet distress. These were just painted with white vintage linen, not white linen, this morning. So I'm just going to distress them. Linda said she just got the push notification for the live. Sometimes... The uh, social medias are not great. We do have, if you go to jamierayvintage.com, you can sign up for our text messaging. And Caitlin did send that. It was a little late because we were kind of like last minute. We were kind of like, oh, hey, we're going live right now. Can you yeah. send that? So that's on us. 
And sometimes Caitlin's like, um, I'm driving right now. I can't really <laughs> I'm send not a available text. at your beck and call. Oh, Caitlin just got on. She was at appointments for her kids. Which we knew. We could have got done it earlier, but we just had a busy day. We did channel membership, business coaching. We went to the shop. We had to go to the bank. We mowed the grass. Mowed the grass. That's it. I did payroll. Okay. That one's These were like a pretty covered. Kind of a shiny brass color <laughs> underneath. So that's why I'm kind of wet distressing to bring that back. And then they don't need anything else. Whenever you find something that's like a good dark color with lots of detail, it's perfect to paint white because look how good that is. Oh, you need to fix the screen. Oh, we've been on I'll an wait, hour. I'll wait. We'll fix the camera and then I'll show you how good it is. Zep, can you show them this up close? Yes. And all it took was wet distressing and all that detail. It just looks good. It's a little chippy. I'll let the... The reason we had to wait on this is because we had to re-epoxy one of the tops back yeah, off. Yeah, I broke the top off. It is like solid now. It's probably better than it was originally. But there's like a two-part JB Weld epoxy and it has... Um, like a, a lid on it so you can use it multiple times. It stinks to high heaven, but it works good. You missed the inside. What the heck? Leslie just got a notification for Palooza. You'll have to watch um, the replay, but we'll be live. I It'll be a little while six. longer. Not past six because. Well, what time is dinner, it now? 522. Oh, I better hustle. Yeah, you better get your hustle on. Zeb is the one who's always like, we're just going to do it an hour, and then like one hour later. Well, we could turn the camera off, but I'd still be sitting here painting because i got to finish it. I can't just leave it half done and walk can't away. can't just leave it willy-nilly. Because then Jamie's going to have to finish it. and I am not. <sighs> Man, <laughs> she's got enough to do. I painted all your weird stuff last week because you were doing the roof, but this week, nope. <laughs> these aren't weird they're just a lot to paint no they would be fine i would have just sprayed them and then just dressed them and then done like a wax I'm or a wash on them artisan finish they are getting an artisan finish oh i don't know why i did that I like, I like to keep the underside of my drop cloth clean so that way i can use it to like paint stuff on but now i've got pink all over it well when you're done with that you want to paint my uh my lampshades? Um, no, I got to go get my one outside and start putting copper on it. It's okay. I will. If you have some leftover of that color, I might incorporate that on my um, lamps. I think it'd be pretty. Well, I'm going to have some left over. I made a lot up. That's good. Okay, now I got to try to carefully move this. And I can't put it right there because there's a giant pile of paint chips from our project this morning. Yeah, I've been getting some of them in my finish. So, oh, yeah. some added texture. Yeah. What color am I using? I'm using Petticoat Pink by DIY Paint. I'm going to drop the link to paints. Mm -hmm. um, and I am using, we wanted so to go boho paints. blue. And I had some little black dress, some old 57, and some blue iris. And I mixed those together till we got this. I can't even tell you at this point what the ratios are. Oh, I was going to mention before I forgot that we have the flower sack is the milk paint color of the month. And it is 35% off until the end of July 2023. So if you've been wanting to try it, it's a good time because 35% off is the biggest discount you're ever going to get online. Um, and if you have, if you get our craft kits, we are almost ready to do the video. It probably won't happen until like Monday or Tuesday, but we're going to extend signing up for the craft kits until the 20th, maybe a little longer, depending on when I get my stencils in for my manufacturer, because I've got to make that video so you guys can see how cool it is. We're doing, we're stenciling a apron and a towel. So you get an apron, a towel, two paint colors, one ounce um, pots of paint 
two stencils and a JRB stencil brush. So it's going to be a like loaded craft kit because you will get not only the reusable stencil brush, but also the reusable stencils. And normally we just include some, one reusable thing and this time you're getting like three because there's two stencils and one stencil brush. But Zeb doesn't have to cut anything out because we're stenciling an apron and a towel. So he's excited about that. Okay. Wet distress. I'm going to rinse this out. How much is the craft kit? It's like 40. It includes shipping. Let me drop the link to it and then I'll know. It's under subscriptions because we have craft kit and then we have our business. Coaching. Well, and the cool thing is, is the stencil will be unique to the craft kit. Like we only put them in the craft kit. Yeah. So it's $42.95 for the craft kit. And I am. The brushes you could get anytime if you just wanted to get a brush, but the stencil will be like a limited craft yeah. kit if edition. You, if you click the link to the craft kit, it'll show you the apron and the towel you're going to get. The towel stencil you're going to get is a really cool cow label. And then the apron, it's like the stencil is going to be like wildflowers. And the reason I did that, because I thought if you wanted to, you could just use one on both. So like if farmhouse cows on your thing, then you just do wildflowers on your um, towel. And if flowers aren't your thing, then you could just do cows on both things. Or you could do one of each mix match. Sky's the limit. I wanted to give you guys options. So I just dropped the link to the craft kit subscription. It's $42.95 if you sign up for recurring billing, which is quarterly. We send out a craft kit. And then if you just want it one time, it's $49.95. And that includes shipping. All right. You can really see that blue coming through now. <clears throat> Lindsay, the last day to sign up at this point is the 20th. If for some reason there's a delay in me getting um, the stencils, then I might extend it. But I think we're going to stop on the 20th. Yeah, because we got to have time to assemble everything and <clears throat> make sure we have enough supplies and send them out. Yeah, and the apron and the towel are reusable. And I thought it'd be fun because we haven't shown in the craft kits how to stencil fabric. So it's just a good way to try the products and all the things. Yeah, the craft kits are the idea behind them is it's a fairly inexpensive way for you to get your feet wet on some new techniques um, and and maybe get out of your comfort zone with some of the some of the past ones. Get out of your comfort zone with uh, texture and even building like I sent one craft kit you had to assemble. <laughs> <laughs> that one was a little tricky. This this with the salt wash underneath that's not quite cured yet is getting so good and, and uh, distressed and textured. I am really, really happy with this. All right, my tin is ready. So I need to now pick out what transfers I'm gonna put on it. I'm gonna let it cool down though. We learned earlier today. Look at how blue that looks now, Want your paint now, to be dry, Jamie. dry. Let me see. Look how cute, just even just these two colors. The Americana and the creamy. Oh, oh yeah, that, that looks so good. So are you just going to do that and then just seal it? Because I wouldn't add. And you're going to add copper? I'm going to add copper, gold? yeah. I think copper. Okay. Look how cute this Just is. real small on the little details here. I'm going to let that cool down because it's still a little. I have like 52 paint brushes with cans. Or... I guess that's what paint a palooza is. Yeah, this is good. You guys want to bring, want to bring it up close? So it will be darker when we seal it because the DIY paint dries lighter. But look at that. I may take it over and just spray seal them. Just saying. Yeah, we might not do it on this video because it will look better if you spray the sealer on. Well, and it'll get the inside good. You have to clean that gun. <laughs> you know what I forgot to paint? My pot. Maybe while I'm waiting for that to cool down, I'll base layer this. Do you have more of this mixture? Oh, you do. All right. My olive tree situation. Slap some texture on there. This might take a minute to dry. It's going to look like pottery instead of galvanized. And then I'm going to have to put some uh, moss inside, but I'll do that later. I was gonna maybe put an IOD mold on here, but I'm thinking maybe not. I want it to look kind of just like a rustic old pot.
The nice thing is this uh, has gotten really thick while it's been sitting, so I'm getting great coverage. Yeah, that's one of the characteristics of the cottage color. If you do like paint frosting in there or if you do salt the salt wash, it thickens up and, Any thickens, kind of up additive. and thickens up. I think it's the top coat. That's why it does that. Okay, copper. Thinking just like dark <clears throat> wax or something. Pennies from heaven, copper patina. I, I almost want to just do these little dots here. What do you think, Zeb? Doesn't it look like an old, like, textured pot? Oh, yeah, pot? that's good. I'm going to put it outside. Much better than the galvanized. The galvanized just didn't go with the olive tree. Sorry, you can't see me on the back end. I'm just using this small, this is the turquoise iris little edge brush. I'm using the tip of it to put this on the detail. I might do the swag too. We'll see how much time we have. Ooh. You have 28 minutes. Oh, somebody just bought the craft kit. Nice. Oh, and somebody else. Mary did. Thanks guys. And Lori. I should be a better salesman and talk about things like this more often. In the spot, inside the pot on the olive tree needs texture too. You think so? All right, let me go grab that back. You're right. Because you're going to see it, right? You're going to see it. You're going to see it. And it doesn't matter if I get the paint on the rocks because I'm covering up all the rocks with moss. Cody's like, why do you keep opening the front door? He's like, can you please stop? It's got me on high alert. Just trying to protect us, Cody. Cody's my little schnoodle. And I say mine because he really is. Rex is Zeb's dog. And Cody is dis. Unless Cody's naughty, then he's Zeb's. Same with the kids. That's true. Because your angels couldn't possibly... Your, your little Only angel, your children. Your little angel babies. All right. Inside is done. Thanks for calling me out on that. I would have been upset if I had to, like, mix it together later to fix it. In a minute, I'll get you. I'll, I'll bring this up close for a, for a close-up. Back to my little candle sticky lamps. I could have just focused on these and got them done, but I didn't. Well, you've done like eight projects now, so. It's fine. All of them have to be finished. Some of them have sold. Some of them have not. They said it well, looks good. Well, these, then. we have the price pretty high on these because they are a really cool piece and very unique. And they're big. And they're large. So I want to make sure that they're getting their bang for their buck. You're really, you're, you're making sure. I'm going to just not dry brush, but I'm going to leave the cracks in between. I'm not going to worry about full coverage with this because I want that cream to poke through. I'm only going to do one coat on the copper because this is distressed, and I want I don't want it to look like the copper is like really stark up against the distressing. Like we want some of the other texture to peek through. Both have our focus face on. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I've now added a whole nother level to this, so we'll see where it takes me. Oops. I don't know if I can compete with your masterpiece over there, though. Well, it's taken me, what, an hour and a half? That is true.
These are probably gonna get dark waxed and then. Oh, that's cool with that color down on the bottom. Yeah. And then I'll distress it back. And I think is this is DIY paint, so if it gets where I don't want it, I can wipe it back. All right, now to do the lid. I'm happy with that. Let me show you this up close. I think I'm just gonna do that on the base. It doesn't need a whole lot with all the distressing. All right, so you guys see that? That turned out pretty cool. Down below, just subtle. It doesn't need to be like knocking you over copper. Just a little hint of it. What copper is knocking you over except for like a copper pot if somebody's breaking into you your know, house? It's real bright if it gets shiny outside. That is true. Like cop like a copper a new copper roof, like get some patina on that quick. <laughs> All right. Well let that dry and then I'm gonna just dress some of it off. Where did my lid go? Did you move my lid? Oh, oh it's back here. I moved my lid. And then I'm going to dark wax it and then see from there. I feel like it doesn't look good. Let's see. Shoot, can I bring this home in 22 minutes? I think you can. Just focus on this. The paint color is good though. I might have to try to recreate that down the road. Yeah, we need this in cottage color, so put it on a piece of paper. Okay. There we go, sample done. Send that color swatch into them right there like that little back of a plate. Sonia says, just working on an order or two when I got to notice you we were on. Are the cords on the lamp yellow or just normal aging? Um, they're they're like gold. They're they're like you're the right, gold. they look yellow. They're, but they're not like bright yellow, they're like gold. Because the lamps were like a brass color, so I think that's why they had them that color. They're, these lamps aren't actually that old. I wish they were old. Two toning is hard because I'm kind of a mess, but I can usually pull it off in the end. Zeb is definitely a neater painter than I am. Mm. It's true. <clears throat> why I distress everything. I'm going to add a little copper to the ends of these. Normally I go light or go dark and then I like accent with light. So these are like the opposite of that. I like that. <clears throat> you need to drink a water. I do. Hey, did I not? Paint the bottom of this? I must not have. Hold, please. Okay. Let those dry. Okay. I feel like I'm going to have to wet distress this again. How do you seal DIY paint without coming off being clay based? Um, so if you're using black, I seal with a black wax and or don't overwork it. So like let it sit on there. Don't push too hard. Um, the other thing too that you can do is if you're putting like a liquid sealer on there, I put a little bit of black in my sealer and it's a black tinted sealer and that helps. And do if you're doing like a liquid sealer, one light coat, do not overwork it. Let it dry, then you can be a little tougher because you gotta seal that paint and you don't wanna wipe it off. Cute. Those are cute. What do you guys think? It does look good. Look yep. at that blue coming through. Now you can really see the blue now that when I When you seal it, it will be a lot darker. Oh. But. This, this looks more like mist and not distressed. What? 
little spot right here. You missed a spot. I like yours better than mine. I'm going to put mine away for a minute. Yours look cool. Put them in the corner of shame. Are you going to put a transfer on that one in the back? Yeah, I'm going to let those dry. We have 20 more minutes. So. Okay, I'm going to go get my other one and finish it then. I'm going to move this out of the way. I think I'm done with that. Leave my olive tree out there. I think it needs to dry more. Okay. If you wanted to carefully take this out, it needs a little bit more dry time. Oh, you got bad drips. Where's your brush? Where else? They, it pulled up by that. That's it. It just pulled up by the handle. They said great work. It's stunning. All the things. Zeb does good work. It does good work. Okay, now I'm going to bring out this transfer. We've been live for like an hour and 20 minutes. I'm finally putting a transfer on it. To decide what I want. This one's too big, so I'm going to go for this size on here. And I'm trying to think what's going to pair best with Americana. There's like these two brownware transfers. Oh, I got the camera all crazy. And I think brown and Americana will go well together. So that's what I'm going to do. Do that one first. There we go. Do I have my little transfer stick? Um, there's one right here. Perfect. So this is the, they have the maze one that's like the big one. This is like a smaller one that's in the seed catalog. I love when they do that because sometimes I just wish that there was smaller versions of things and then IOD eventually comes out with them. So hopefully this transfers well because you should wait a couple hours for your paint to dry. And if it doesn't have a built-in sealer, which this does, because I we use tried this color. in the channel membership, wait, yeah. not waiting long enough. <laughs> this is dry. It's fine. Well, the other one had a lot of coats of paint on it, and the sealer wasn't quite like set up. It didn't end well. You might have to take your mic. Your I mic know off they're again. back at it up there. Summertime's hard. This is why we don't have paint of Palooza every week because the kids are home for the summer. So you lightly push against it with this little stick. And I like to get the edges. And then once you get the edges done, you can kind of just ride the wave and you don't have to work quite as hard. Jack, I can hear you screaming up there and I'm not happy about it. So put that up and knock it off. Well, mom voice came out. I can be hardcore. I can be hardcore, that's... I just don't like it. He had a laundry basket on his head. It was kind of funny. <laughs> I was like, don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. This has like a pattern on it, like embossed the actual tin. So it's a little bit turkey on the uh, it's like bumpy parts. If you pull it up and it accidentally doesn't put down, sometimes you can push it down and rub on it some more. Now, if you're peeling up paint, that means your paint wasn't set up. Or you painted something that was way too shiny to be painted. Or you didn't use good paint. One of the three. Okay. All right. First one on. So I've been thinking about it over here. And if I had to make up a formula for this paint, I would do one part little black dress two parts old 57 and then a half part because that's about how much i had left in this can of blue iris Did you guys write that down they got you, it i bro. need you to remember that so that when i try to make this mixture before one of you that's smart enough to take notes and write I my craziness down yeah, no he no he just right wants here. to be close yeah. if they want out they bark yeah, Rex, if Rex gets antsy and he's been holding it too long, he'll go stand at the door and let you know he's And he will not stop out. barking until you let him out. Well, he's, he's terrified of going to the bathroom on the floor. He feels so bad with it if it happens. Like he was sick a little while back and he was hiding under the bed. I'm like, bro, it's okay. We'll fix it. Yeah, that's not Blue Iris. That's the other one. 
That's mislabeled. This is mislabeled? Yeah, blue iris is dark. That's her other color, water lily. Water lily. Sorry. Is that's that why, why we, we have it here? Because yeah. it was mislabeled? It was mislabeled. And so I thought we got that it. it was a little light. I thought blue iris was much brighter Sorry, than that. Sorry. Thank goodness we got that. It Lisa, was throwing me off. Lisa Jones. Good job, Lisa. Emma says, I really like the way the lambs came out. Thanks. They're not done yet, but. What else are you going to do to them? Um, oh, you had to do some distressing on that. Yeah, I want to distress it, mix. and then I'm going to dark wax it, and then I might add some gold wax, but definitely dark wax. It needs dark wax. So I'm putting a little more, like, when I'm looking at distressing, like, in my mind, like, if these were picked up, your hand would grab them right here. So I'm adding a little more distress around the base than the rest of it. Thoughtful distressing. Yeah. It shouldn't look like a cheetah. You know, anybody who's seen distressed stuff that looks like a cheetah knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's easy to have. It happens, it happens, happens, it happens to real quick when you're using an orbital sander. Yeah. Or you're, you're like, just... you back away and you're like, oh, no. Yeah. But it's okay. <laughs> if that happens, just repaint it. I have totally had to repaint something like over distressed, over distressed. Or like earlier you said it just looked like you'd missed it. So you had to like add some more. Yeah. Hmm. So I will seal over the top of this, probably not on this video, but just on the transfer portion because the paint is already sealed. There's also a difference between a lot of chippy milk paint and just over distressing. That is true. And it's a very fine line and it's also a personal line. Somebody's like perfect amount of distressing may not be somebody else's. My most chippy pieces sometimes sell the fastest. All right. Now I've got this I, I, on this side and this on this side. How cute. And then I'm going to distress it. Do Is that 220 or is that 80? It's 220. Okay. Here's my little lid. Is it being not, like not wanting to, is it because I have paint on the top? Sorry. Just hit it a little. Fine. The paint's gonna <laughs> that just... turned out so good. I know, it doesn't look good. I'll bring it up close. I'm gonna distress it still. That seed pack or uh, seed catalog transfer is one of my favorites. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. If they ever retire it, we must buy like oh, my... I was gonna put a number on it, but I'm like, how many is enough? Like what if we run out? I don't know. <laughs> So I like to like sand over the top of transfers because it kind of just blends them into the background. Not a lot. You got to use 220 because you don't want it to just like uh, completely go away and you don't want to peel it off. And then when we're not live, I'll just throw some like top coat on here, big top, whatever. Oh, these are different because this one's shorter. The bead is down lower. I'm like, that feels like that's kind of crowded, and it is. Let's see what it looks like. Maybe well, let that paint dry up. What I think I'm going to do. Maybe put some wax on that right around the lip. That'll fix it. I'm going to distress it. It doesn't help that your paint is super fresh. Yeah, and then I'm going to let it dry really good. And I will make sure that it works just fine before I ship it off. Let me see if that helps a little better. That's a little bit better, but it's like a tight fit anyways. It's not the paint. It's not even that much paint on it. But you don't want to have to put too much pull on these because they will, they'll come out. So... Oh, you know what we could do? What? We got what? that zucchini that needs cooked up. We could go, we could have zucchini and spaghetti tonight. Okay. I'm going to let it dry. I'll get, I'll grab it. We got two that are pretty much ready to go. Paint the bottom. Yeah. I thought that when you lifted it up, and then I was like, it's just going to get scuffed around on the bottom of some shelf, like up over there, never going to be seen. Sometimes, All right, I'm gonna have to work on sometimes that. it's important to paint the bottom, but sometimes are you gonna just do it? I can't let the people of YouTube be sad. 
sometimes it doesn't matter much is what i'm trying to say i'm not going to do two coats that would be pushing it but i'll paint it i have used so little of this uh because it's so dark pennies from heaven oh the pennies from heaven. i thought you were talking about the blue no that blue too that but the pennies from heaven, like I'm just dipping in the lid. I haven't even dipped down. It in goes there. a long way, which is good because it's kind of spendy, but you can use it as an accent. All right. The bottom, it's been painted. Emma says, the transfer is awesome. And if I can't get this lid to like slide smoother, I'll just put in the listing, like leave the lid on. <laughs> it's for looksies. Sometimes. <sighs> That's how it is. All right. Do I have anything drying outside? I thought you did. But maybe you brought it in. Uh, these, what are you going to do I'm with I'm not going to get to these, but these are going to get distressed and sealed later. The lamps. I don't know. Oh, you know what's outside? My pitcher. Oh, yeah. I just put that out there. I think my lamps are still drying. <gasps> my olive bucket blew over. Hopefully it's okay. The wind's not even blowing that much out there. It is top heavy though. It's fine. It's still drying. It's fine. You know, now that I know which part I was going to paint on this, the second one went much faster. It's sometimes like decision. What do they call that? Decision when you can't make a decision. I don't know, whatever. When you can't make a decision, sometimes it's hard. You've already made enough decisions in the day and you can't decide. So once you make that decision, it's just easy to go through it. So I'm just bringing out this embossed detail on here. All right, so these will darken up a little bit when we feel them. They won't get crazy dark. They will get some darkness Indecisive. No, but there's another word for it. Oh, Analysis paralysis. That's pretty good. It's kind of like puppy paralysis when I can't get up because a puppy is on my lap. Do you not recognize it? When he wants me to do something and Cody's on my lap, I'm like, I have puppy paralysis. And that's like, nope, I'm buying it. So here's this one. I got to seal these, but that should go pretty quick and easy. Oh, I missed the whole spot. I am going to leave this the way that it is. Can you guys see all the detail? Oh, can you fix the camera? Oh, yeah. That's the two hours. Oh, they said Americana on the bottom. Y'all are killing me. Do we even have the... But that one, like, you might carry that, though. So that makes sense on that. No, it's... Actually, what happens... Is, carry it. It's weighted on the bottom. It's so weighted, but... The what happens is after the video, I'm like, oh, that needs to be painted. Like, we painted those frames on Saturday. And we have to paint the backs of them. Well, sometimes we just get them to just enough on the video and then we have to finish off camera. I'm not really sure if people want to watch me paint the bottom of things, but here we go. It's very satisfying for them. Watch me swipe the Americana. It's going to change this bottom. <laughs> I'm a smart aleck in case nobody knew. All right. That's done. I'm glad that I sat here and did these though because they were gonna take, <gasps> they were gonna take a hot minute to finish and I don't have very many hot minutes this week, so this was perfect. And instead of a cold minute, everything's hot this summer. All right. Now I have Americana on this bowl. That's all right, everything is in there. Okay, here, I'll let you, you did so good on that. Let's finish this. Oh, you want me to do copper yeah. on this? What Can you just stress it a little and then dark wax and copper? Are you, are you, am I wet distressing? Or? No, I think you need sandpaper because of the... Maybe wet distress and then some sandpaper because this is not going to come oh, off with you water. Not, let me move this. That's like right in the way. Don't spill the lid off the top. I will put, a, I'll yeah, put it right here. This is going to get a lot of paint transfer on that. Do you guys see how I did that? I saw how you did it. Don't think I don't know. All right, I'm gonna dark wax my praying dolls. How about that? Zeb, your mic. My mic might have died. Oh. <laughs> well, then we'll have to be together so people can hear you. Oh, 
Do we have dark wax out? Yes, my mic has died. All right, well, don't talk or say anything till I get back. It's going to be quiet time. Clear wax. Dark wax. All right, I'm back. You can talk. I don't know how much you wanted this to stress, but I went for it. Whatever you think would look good. I think this amount looks amazing. I'll put it on this side. Oh, okay. I'll just lean over and talk. There we go. Talk can, to your neck. Can you hear him now? Yeah. This could work out good for me. They said just talk loud. They said it's better when I'm close to you, which I agree. Right. Oh, I need a rag. Do we have a thing is now that I painted the bottom of that and it's all streaky, it's going to bug me. So I'm going to have to let it dry and second coat it. That's okay. <laughs> now it's a thing. Um, do you, I didn't need a paper towel. So yeah. Zepp's mic is off because it's dead. Jack's, oh, Jack's ramen noodle cup is just off camera. <laughs> My kids love cup of noodle and I'm like, it is not healthy, but I let him eat it every now and then. Jack would eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't allow that. I'm going to dark wax this. I don't have to clear wax it first because it's got a built-in sealer. They said it was delegating at its finest. Well, you were done with your project. Oh, I like that. Be careful though. I'm using caution. Distress with caution. Do what you want, but do what I want. Yep, I know how it goes. All right, I'm gonna. This down here on the bottom, I think it's just this color with the crockery. It's so good. It's like a really great combo. That is not crockery. That is white linen with a little bit of crockery. It's like ivory. There's crockery in there. There is. There is. There is some crockery. In case you didn't hear what he said, he said this color with crockery. All right. That one is done with the distressing. Do I have anything? Oh, yeah, my olive tree is drying outside. So I'm just wiping back my dark wax so it's just down in the cracks of my little praying boy statue. Can you guys see that? If this was just DIY paint and wasn't cottage color, you definitely have to seal it. Otherwise, it would look like there was a poop accident. Oh, no, no. You can't have that. No. You can't have it. It's so cute. All right, so if your mic dies, then we got to really hurry and wrap this up. I think yours has more power though. Um, I don't know why. I didn't charge them after we did our because we've already pre-recorded Saturday's thrift haul because we're going to be out of town, so it'll be a um, a premiere. So we'll be on the live chat. We'll probably be driving back down to uh, Mesa or already be down there by then. I'm guessing Odelia and Cooper are playing video games over the internet. She's up there cackling. Centers a meme. I don't know. You never know with those two. You just you don't. Well, Cooper's Odelia's boyfriend. In case you're wondering, Odelia is our almost 18 year old daughter. She is dying laughing up there. So since this is super fresh, I am going just really light with this 220. I want a dark wax in. So I guess I can start that. Okay. Since I get this this cute little girl D dark wax. I just want it down in the cracks. <laughs> Cody, they just drove by. Hey, Cody, you promised if I let you inside, you would be quiet. Shh. Can dogs promise? He did. He promised me. He promised you. Yeah, I'm gonna let them out. They seem like they want out of 
Well, somebody on the world of YouTube said that they thought they wanted out. You have to be careful when you're dark waxing dolls. Like sometimes they like to stick in their eyes and it doesn't, doesn't look good. Scheduled for a haircut. I've been doing it, but I haven't done it in a long time. Because Jamie was like, I'll just take them down. It'll be like their summer time. Oh, his black hair just did not show up on camera. I promise you he's cute. Yeah, he's just a black ball of fuzz. He's a black football. Black dogs aren't as popular as white dogs, but we love our black pups. They were our rescue puppy doodles. Okay, this one's, oh, are you gonna need me to wipe back? Oh yeah, that'd be great. Me soon. I'll tag team. Okay, I'm ready. I didn't know I was gonna have a partner in this, so. I'm done with my project. I'm gonna seal it, but I'm gonna spray seal it. So I'm finished with those. The areas that don't have dark wax, don't forget to like smear it out there. So it's not all contrasty, there you go. If you have to, you might have to get some clear wax. Dark wax requires a little bit of patience, a little bit of trust, but mostly I like it. I only hate it sometimes when it doesn't do what I want. <laughs> I feel like that's everything though. Yeah. Speaking of dolls, did somebody buy those old baby dolls? We sold two. And I found another old baby doll this week. So Two, in, usually it takes a while. The last group of baby dolls I bought, I had for a while, and then eventually they all sold. They had to find the right home. But yeah, they, they got shipped out. Well, a lot modern uh, cinema has made them into kind of something creepy, but... They're not. They, they were someone's like little baby doll that they played with every day when they were a kid. They got a lot of use because back in those days, a kid had like one, to one toy. Like, like now kids have toys that they don't even play with. This is the doll you get, yeah. and you're going to have it until you uh, don't play with dolls anymore. Ooh. Do you want to do the base? Yeah. I like that, though. And then do we want to add just like a little bit of gold wax, and then I promise I'm done? Yeah, if you want to go get it. Okay. I think, don't wait. It's right there. That's, oh, it is right there. Because we used it earlier, remember? You remember. Okay, there's that. All right. I'm going to bring in my olive plant. I'm probably not going to wax it because that's going to be a big job. And we do need to get dinner started. Well, it's the cream color. I think that this, because we added salt wash, it changed like this is very chalky. So I'm going to have to seal this and then dark wax it. Otherwise, it'll oh, be real yeah, dirty. My salt wash mix, I added a ton of salt wash and I added water to it to get it to the right consistency. Because this ain't shiny. So this is my. Because I didn't have a lot of crockery left, so I added water. Got it. So what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to seal it, let it dry, and then dark wax it. Otherwise, it'll be a big, poopy, muddy mess. My pink. Candlesticks are, how come y'all don't use the shipwreck patina? I don't know. How come Debbie Beard doesn't paint stuff white? <laughs> I'll find a we project. We have a whole jar of it that, it's really good with copper, like a bird tree. Um, but a lot of times when we're doing copper, we usually already have one. All right, so gold is right here. Is this one done being distressed? Where should I put the gold at? I um, saw the yellow plates with the bird, with the birds. I found a set in blue and sold them. Yes, the yellow plates that I just bought have been super popular. I've actually received a ton of messages from people wanting to buy them, and we don't pre-sell. Someone was a little upset. Somebody about was it. a little saucy about to, it. We had to explain, hey, to be fair, it doesn't matter who you are. We have to, we, we just put them up on 
the website and they go live right before the live stream and you have the same opportunity everybody else has to sit there and refresh the website if you want them that bad. All right, I'm just doing a little bit of gold. I'm gonna do it like here and then like kind of on this middle section and then maybe on the top. I'll show you that good grunge. And my arms too. I might have to let this dry and then do more gold. Right. I like it though. The gold is just like a hint of shimmer. Am it's I shimmer. To that up? No, I don't know. What do you think? No. Oh, do it yeah, like that. That looks better. That looks better. Than Here, you want to do that? Side to side. Yeah. You can't talk when you're away. They don't know what you said. Oh, I he said, know. check out the grunge. Yeah, check the grunge out. Because the dark wax makes it kind of grungy and old. And these are definitely sealed now because the paint had a built-in sealer, then we dark waxed it. And there was a little DIY paint on there, but it got sealed with the dark wax. Because the dark wax, even though it's like decorative, also is functional. Same with the gold wax. Decorative and functional. All right, guys. Let's do you want to get all the projects together? Yeah. Oh, look, Carly's coming. You better hurry. It's going to be a party in here real quick. Okay. We'll put all of our projects up front so you guys can see what we completed on our paint of palooza And then we got to clean up this mess and make dinner. And feed the cow. So not quite a navy, but I feel like it's a really good smoky blue. It is navy when it gets sealed because look at the lamps. It changed the color. All right, slow pan. Oh, I won't put these white things up because I actually did those like earlier. Carly, are you really crawling on the floor? She didn't want to be in the video. <laughs> well, I got my pink candlesticks. They don't look like much, but they will when they're done. Don't forget the pink candlesticks. We got this done in a couple of hours, right? Like just less than, it was 4.22 when we started. So like an hour and 45? That is pretty good. I'm going to call that a win. All right, guys, if you want to buy any of these projects or our paint and products, they're available at jamierayvintage.com. These are all under Saturday Thrift Haul. That's where all of our thrift flips are. And if you want to hit that share button, it would be amazing. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Did you hear that? He said DIY. <laughs> Next time we'll have the mics charged up. All right, guys. Yeah.